Hi friends, it's Miss Tina and Lupo here for Miss Tina Time. I hope you're doing well. I miss you guys so much. Uh, we've got two more weeks of story time before we get ready for summer break um, and our summer library challenge. So lots of cool details to come. So keep your eyes and ears out for that. Uh, we are gonna be going all virtual this summer, but we've got some really fun stuff planned. So we're excited to uh, share all that with you. So for now, we're going to get started with Miss Tina time. Uh, so today's stories, I've got three books here for us today. Uh, today's stories are, have something in common. They all cannot be read. I can't read them. What do you think that means? If I can't read the stories, what do you think I have to do with them? You're right. I have to sing them. What do you think, Lupo? <laughs> so we're going to sing all of our stories today. They all have that in common. So let's go ahead and get started with our hello song from Baby Bounce. And uh, we'll start there. Here we go. Ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. All right. So our first book that we have today, it's a po popular song, one that you've probably heard before. It's called Do Your Ears Hang Low? This book is illustrated by Jenny Cooper. I should warn you, it's a little bit silly. Okay, so I want you to find your ears. Do you know where your ears are? Maya, right here. There's one here and one here. Can you find yours so you're ready? And let's see if your ears hang low, okay? And the illustrations on this book are very cute. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? What about yours? Do your ears hang low? <laughs> this one's kind of silly. I really like the pictures on this one. Do your ears stand high? Do they reach up to the sky? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Do they droop when they are wet? Do they stiffen when they're dry? Can you wave them at your neighbor with the minimum of labor? Do your ears stand high? Do your ears flip flop? Can you use them as a mop? Uh oh. <laughs> Are they stringy at the bottom? Are they curly at the top? Can you use them for a swatter? Can you use them for a blotter? Do your ears flip flop? Do your ears stick out? Can you waggle them about? Can you flap them up and down as you fly around the town? <laughs> Can your ears do that? Can you shut them up for sure when you hear an awful bore? Do your ears stick out? Look, there's a mirror in this book. Isn't that so silly? Hey you, you've got the cutest ears I've ever seen, it says. What do you think? Go check in the mirror. Do you have the cutest ears? I think so. All right, that was kind of a silly story. So the second book that we have involves a little counting backwards. So we're gonna use our fingers to count backwards. Can you show me five fingers, please? Perfect, all right. This one's called Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. This version is written and illustrated by Eileen Cristolo. Here we go. It was bedtime, so five little monkeys took a bath. Five little monkeys put on their pajamas. Five little monkeys brushed their teeth. Do you do those things before bed too, just like the monkeys? I do. Five little monkeys said goodnight to their mama. Say goodnight, mama. Then, five little monkeys jumping on the bed. 
One fell off and bumped his head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if we had five and one fell off, put one down, how many are left? Four, right. Four little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Then mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if we had four monkeys and we take one away, fold that one down. You can use your other hand if you need to. Fold that one down. How many are left? One, two, three. You're right. Three little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, we had three. And now take one of those away. Now we have two little monkeys jumped on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. two. Take one away. How many is left? One. So one little monkey jumped on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. The mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So five little monkeys fell fast asleep. Thank goodness, said the mama. Now I can go to bed. Oh, what is the mama doing? Is she jumping on the bed too? What do you think? Do you think your mommies and daddies and your grown-ups jump on the bed when they go to sleep? You should ask them and find out if they do. All right, the last book that I have for us today is a silly version of a book, of a song or a book that you've already probably read before. But this one's a little bit different. It's called The Seals on the Bus. Have you ever seen seals on a bus before? That's so silly. So I should warn you, this one is a very silly version. Let's hear what else is on this silly bus. Maybe you can sing it with me when you get to, when you figure out all the words. Here we go. The seals on the bus go erp, 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 erp. The seals on the bus go erp, 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 all around the town. The tiger on the bus goes roar, 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 roar. Roar, 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 the tiger on the bus goes roar, roar, roar. All around the town, the geese on the bus go, whoop, Mr. Page. Honk, 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 honk. The geese on the bus go honk, 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 all around the town. Ooh, this is a fun one. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The rabbits on the bus go up and down, all around the town. Uh-oh, look who's next. The monkeys on the bus go The monkeys on the bus go all around the town. Ooh, the vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 hiss. The vipers on the bus go hiss, 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 all around the town. The sheep on the bus go ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 the sheep on the bus go ba, 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 
all around the town. Uh-oh, a skunk. The skunks on the bus go The skunks on the bus go all around the town. Uh-oh, that's probably really stinky. And the people on the bus go, help, 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 help. The people on the bus go, help, 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 all around the town. <laughs> What did you think? That was a really silly version of that song, isn't it? I think that one's a funny one. All right, so the music and movement song that you're going to do today, again, it's going to be in the comments, grown-ups. Um, this is one that we all probably know and love. It's called The Hokey Pokey, and this one is by The Learning Station. So, um, grown-ups, like I said, the post will be included in the link. Kiddos, we're going to practice the movements, okay? So this is kind of silly because it starts off kind of slow, but then it gets faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, okay? So it's all going to start off with, we're first going to do our right foot. So can you find your foot find your foot for me okay so we're gonna put our right foot in and then we're gonna take it back out and then we're gonna put our right foot in and we're gonna shake it all about can you shake your foot good job then we're gonna put our thumbs up we're gonna do the hokey pokey and we're gonna turn ourselves around so you're gonna stand up and turn in a circle while you're using your thumbs okay you're gonna do that for each one of them and then that's what it's all about we're gonna put our hands out like this perfect so then we're going to do the left foot. So find your other foot. Good job. Then we're going to do our right arm in. And we're going to do our left arm in. We're going to put our head in. Where's your head? Good job. We're going to put our whole head in. Good job. Where's your knees? The next one is our knees. So we're going to put just our knees in. Then we're going to put our shoulders in. Where are your shoulders? Yeah, we're going to put our shoulders in. Then we're going to put our elbows in. Do you know where your elbows are? Those are those funny things right here in the middle of your arm, your elbows. So you're going to put them both in. Good job. Then we're going to put our bottom in. Where's your bottom? And we're going to shake it all about. You know how to do that. All right. Then we're going to put our quiet voice in. So can you whisper and put your mouth in? Whisper, whisper. Good job. Then we're going to put our loud voice in. Make your voice nice and loud. Good job. Then we're going to put our tummy in. Where's your tummy? Yep, there it is. Then we're going to put our nose in. And we're going to try and wiggle it all about. And then we're going to put our whole body in and jump all the way in. Okay? So what do you think? Do you think you can do that? <clears throat> Good job. I think you're going to have fun with this one. All right. So I think you're all ready to go ahead and do your hokey pokey. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song and uh, from Baby Bounce, okay? Ready? Open and shut them, open and shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them. High up in the sky, sky, sky. Wave to me, I'll wave to you. Then we'll say goodbye, bye, bye. Thanks for tuning in for Miss Tina time. I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.